The wild boar is a species of wild pig, native to the forests of Europe, northwest Africa, and throughout Asia. It may have originated in Indonesia, the Philippines, or nearby, but the earliest fossil evidence, from the early Pleistocene era, comes from both Europe and Asia. The wild boar's closest wild relative today is the bearded pig in Malaysia. The wild boar is an animal with an extremely wide distribution among a number of habitats. Naturally, it is hard to classify them all since they can easily interbreed, but it is widely agreed that there are four main types, determined by their location, with 15 subspecies. They are all very similar in size and appearance but may vary in color, depending on their geographic location. The wild boars are also commonly known as European wild pigs, hogs, or simply boars. People have farmed them for so many centuries that the wild boar is the ancestor of common domestic pigs. Anatomy and Appearance The wild boar is a medium-sized mammal with a large head and front end that leads into a smaller hind. Their double coat of fur has a bristly top layer with a softer undercoat. The hair that runs along the ridge of the wild boar's back is longer than the rest. Coloration varies, brown, black, red, or dark gray, generally depending on the boar's location. For example, wild boar in Western Europe tend to be brown, while those in Eastern European forests can be completely black. The wild boar has very poor eyesight because of its very small eyes, but it also has a long, straight snout that enables it to have an acute sense of smell. The snout of the wild boar is probably one of this animal's most characteristic features, and like other wild pig, pigs, it sets these mammals apart from others. It has a cartilaginous disc at the end that is supported by a small bone called the prenasal, which allows the wild boar's snout to be used as a bulldozer when it is foraging for food. All wild boars have tusks on their bottom lips, although the males are larger than the females and curve upwards out of their mouths. Interestingly, males also have a hollow tusk on their top lip, which acts like a knife sharpener, constantly sharpening the male's bottom tusks, both of which can grow up to 6 centimeters long. There have been several wild boars whose size captured the imagination of the internet. We published a look at the largest wild boars on record. Generally, the weight is size. Distribution and habitat. The wild boar is the most widely distributed land mammal on earth occupying habitats from Western Europe to Japan to the rainforests of Indonesia. As discussed above, the four divisions of wild boars are determined by their location with one inhabiting Europe, northwestern Africa and western Asia, another is found across northern Asia and in Japan, the third inhabits the tropical jungles of India, Southeast Asia and the Far East, with the last being found only in Indonesia. Wild boars inhabit tropical jungles and grasslands, but they favor deciduous, broadleafed forests with dense vegetation. Behavior and Lifestyle Wild boars are nocturnal animals that forage for food only at night. They spend around 12 hours sleeping in a dense nest of leaves during the day. Female wild boars are relatively sociable animals that live in groups called sounders consisting of 6 to 30 members. Sounders consist of breeding females and their young and can often be found in the same area as other groups, although they, although they don't usually mix. Males, however, are solitary most of the year, but during the breeding season will move closer to the sounders, and even other males. Male wild boars compete with one another to mate with a female. Reproduction and Life Cycles once mated, the female wild boar gives birth to four to six piglets in a nest found in a dense thicket, which is made up of leaves, grasses, and moss. The mother remains with her piglets for about two weeks to protect them from hungry predators. Wild boar piglets are distinctive animals because they have light brown fur with cream and brown stripes that run the length of their backs. Although these stripes will disappear when the piglets are between three and four months old, they will have effectively camouflaged the vulnerable babies in the forest floor debris. Once they are two months old, the piglets begin to venture out on short foraging trips. Then they turn almost red and become independent at around seven months old. The wild boar does not reach adult coloration until the animal is about a year old. Diet and Prey 
The wild boar is an omnivorous animal, and 90% of its diet is young leaves, berries, grasses, and fruits, it also unearths roots and bulbs with its hard snout. Living in highly seasonal regions, wild boars have had to adapt to changing fruits and flowers and favor the protein-rich nuts, such as acorns, found in the autumn, which helps to prepare them for the winter ahead. They will, however, eat almost anything that will fit into their mouths and supplement their diet by eating eggs, mice, lizards, worms, and even snakes. Wild boars will also finish off the abandoned kill of another animal. Predators and Threats Due to their large distribution, wild boars are prey to numerous predators of all shapes and sizes. Large felines such as leopards, lynxes, and tigers are among the most common predators of the wild boar, along with other large carnivores like wolves, bears, and humans. Although their numbers in the wild have dropped rapidly in much of their natural range, in other areas, including mainland Europe, Poland, and Pakistan, there has been a significant population rise. The exact reasons are not known. It is thought to be due to the decline of their main predators, their increased protection, and more regulated hunting. In terms of being in danger of extinction, the wild boar has been listed by the IUCN as a species of least concern. Relationship with humans Wild boars are now farmed in many places for their meat, but they have also been hunted for their sharp tusks as prize trophies for centuries. Some populations even became extinct, such as in Britain. Today, however, humans have introduced the wild boar to numerous other countries around the world, purely so that they can be hunted and eaten. This list includes Hawaii, the Galapagos Islands, Fiji, New Zealand, Australia, South Africa, Sweden, and Norway. Although the overall wild boar population is increasing, the species has, in places, been threatened by habitat loss to humans, mainly through deforestation and continuously growing settlements.